Hello my loves, Tony here from TL Yarn Crafts and welcome back to my channel. Now I hope you like reviews because I've got a really good one for you today. This is a product that I meant to review when it first came out around Christmas time last year, but then it sold out completely. Now they just restocked this past spring so you can get a set if you want to. These are the Athena crochet hooks from my friend Sarah Jane of Bella Coco Crochet. Now if you know me, I know that you know Sarah Jane of Bella Coco Crochet. Sarah Jane is an OG crochet content creator and designer and honestly a personal inspiration of mine. Now when she came out with her full range of crochet tools and accessories, honey, I was all over it, but I have not opened these hooks yet. So I'm super excited to try them out blind with you today. I've got a fun little review planned. There are a few features of these hooks that I wanna check out specifically, but overall I wanna see if they have a place in my current crochet hook collection. Now before we do that though, I have a quick story to tell you brought to you by today's video sponsor, BetterHelp. So around this time last year, I was kind of having a rough go of things. I was tired all the time. Just the littlest things put me on edge and I just could not seem to deal with my days. <laughs> so I did what I thought everybody does in this situation. I went to my GP, she ran all the tests and everything came back normal. So eventually she just stood in front of me and she's like, girl, what's going on? And I broke out into tears. I didn't realize it, but I was holding on to a lot of stress. And in that moment, it felt like a dam broke. And I'm really glad that it did because it made me receptive to her recommendation, which was therapy. Now, like a lot of people, I was super skeptical about therapy. I'm like, I'm Tony, I'm fine, I can deal with this. But that armor fell pretty quickly once I was actually connected with a therapist. They really worked with me to get down to the heart of the matter. And within just a few visits, I could sense my mood shifting. And I felt really empowered to start dealing with the things that were contributing to my stress. Now, if you think you might be feeling stressed, anxious, depressed, or overwhelmed, BetterHelp is here to help you. BetterHelp, spelled better H-E-L-P is in the business of making therapy affordable, accessible, and convenient for folks just like us. To get started, drop by their site and take their questionnaire, which will help assess your specific needs. Then BetterHelp takes it from here, matching you with a trained therapist within 48 hours. You'll be able to schedule secure video and phone sessions with your therapist, plus share unlimited messages and feel confident that everything that you share is confidential. Join the 2 million plus people who have taken charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced BetterHelp therapist. Get 10% off your first month when you visit betterhelp.com slash tlyarncrafts. Click the link down in the description and start the questionnaire today. I wanna give a huge thank you to BetterHelp for giving me an opportunity to share my story and I hope it inspires at least one of you to get the help and support that you need. And we can't start today's video without some love for our cup of caffeine sponsor. I have my second cup going here in my you've cat to be kitten me right now mug. This one comes from my best friend so thanks for the mug bestie and today's cup of caffeine sponsor is Martha when donating Martha said you bring a smile to my face every time I watch your videos enjoy your coffee and honestly Martha you about to bring a tear to my eye I appreciate that so much I love recording these videos and I really love that you love it so enjoy your coffee as well thanks lovely now that I am fully caffeinated let's dive into these Athena crochet hooks so let's start this off by taking a quick look at the Athena hook listing here on the crochet society website Site. So Crochet Society is a monthly subscription box put out by Bella Coco and everything in this range is meant to complement the Crochet Society brand. So she's got bags and tags and all kinds of fun things, but we are looking specifically at these hooks. So these are the Bella Coco Athena crochet hooks and case. We can see that we get a zipper case with eight crochet hooks that range from the size three millimeter to six and a half millimeter meant for DK weight yarn all the way up to bulk. So within this, we can see the listing shows us the hooks from a few different angles, as well as this pretty cream case. And you can see this gorgeous BC monogram here at the bottom. I think that is so cute and classy. I mean, honestly, Sarah Jane is just class upon class. So, and there she is, Sarah Jane of Bella Coco, always representing for her brand. She always shows up with her face. And I think that is fantastic. So it says the Bella Coco super soft grip crochet hooks have been designed using an exclusive mold that has been tried, tested, and engineered by crochet experts, including including Sarah Jane herself. The ergonomic and tactile handles will give you hours of comfortable crocheting and help avoid hand fatigue. Now this is an especially big claim, so we're definitely gonna be looking out for the comfortability of these hooks and trying to assess in a short period of time if it will actually give us hand fatigue or help us to avoid it. It also says these soft grip hooks come in a set of eight neatly packed in a chic cream colored Bella Coco zippered durable case with stylish BC monogram. That's what we saw right
right here. This attractive set of hooks comes in a beautiful pastel mint color, ranging from the sizes three millimeter to six and a half millimeter. Perfect for all of your crochet projects, whether you're crocheting with DK or chunky yarn. Some of the features and benefits, ergonomic crochet hook design, soft tactile handle, eight hooks, ranging from three to six and a half millimeters. Now this set comes in at 34.99 pounds. That's about $42 US, which is actually quite reasonable for this many hooks, especially if they're as well designed as this listing will lead us to believe. So let's get this package open and see if we're really getting what they say we're getting. So it's very well packaged. They want to make sure nothing happens to our hooks while they're in transit to us. Here are the hooks themselves. I'm going to snip off this tag and get these bad boys open. Nice zipper for the zipper pouch. The zipper also has the BC monogram on it, which is a very nice touch. Mm, hello gorgeous now let's look at this handle super duper quick you can see that this handle is very different from a lot of the hooks that are on the market right now one thing i can already say is that i appreciate the length of them i have pretty big paws so i need something that is going to go all the way from my thumb and extend past my pinky finger and it only extends a little bit past it but just enough for me to get a handle on it so i definitely love that each of the hooks has the size written on here as well as the word athena how long that size is going to live on the handle is yet to be seen. These are brand new, but this is printed on here. It's not embossed. So that always makes me a little bit concerned if we'll lose that size and it's not printed anywhere else on the hook. So just something to be aware of. The hook itself is a nice shiny aluminum. It feels like there is a little bit of a rigid groove here near the hook head. I do wonder how that's going to impact how the yarn glides along the hook, whether it'll be a positive or negative impact. Impact, we'll see. But as far as the hook head, we've got something that feels a little bit more like a hybrid. It's definitely got some tapered qualities and some inline qualities. This hook head specifically, kind of how it's flat along the front here, is always a little tricky for me to use, but I've got some yarn here to do a few tests and we'll see how it actually works out. Absolutely love the mint green color. Listen, I have a thing for color, so throw some color at me and I'm going to be a happy girl. This mint green is gorgeous and the choice of this salmon pink for the elastic here. There were no details spared in putting this together. So it's an absolutely gorgeous set. The case itself is quite nice. Feels like there's some kind of cardboard or something rigid in between here, but there's nice smooth fabric here on the inside, as well as kind of a faux leather case on the outside. And we've got that beautiful little monogram. So let's grab a few of these hooks and a little bit of yarn from my stash and give them a use test. I'm going to start with some DK weight yarn. This is some cute little stuff that I found in my stash that I plan to incorporate into my temperature blanket. But until then, I'm using it for my videos. So I'm going to get a four and a half millimeter, which is a good fit for a DK weight yarn. And let's just do a few single crochets. Nothing too fancy. I'll start with a slip knot, insert my hook. Moment of truth. Let's do a few chains. Oh, okay. It's very smooth. My yarn is not getting caught up in kind of the curve of the hook, which is very exciting. This handle feels great in my hand and it's got a thumb rest, which I personally love in a set of crochet hooks. So I'm gonna start at the second chain from my hook, get in there for a single crochet. Oh, darling. <sighs> Hello, lover. Oh man, that feels great, honestly. So I'm not noticing much of a change when my yarn gets kind of to this rigid part there at the top of the hook. It's gliding through smoothly. I'm not getting any resistance. Let me get a few more stitches on this swatch though. I have to say my first impression of these hooks is just, wow, they're very smooth. This is 100% merino wool yarn, so it is on the smoother side compared to most fibers. So I did kind of throw a softball on this one. I expected it to move pretty easily. I am getting a few little misfires here as I'm pulling my hook through, but I'm sure that's just a matter of getting used to using a new style of hook for me. This handle is very interesting. I can't say offhand if it is relieving any tension, but it does feel very comfortable. It lays in the same places as something like a Clover Amore would lay, if not a little bit wider. So it gives me kind of a better grip and a little bit more control. My stitches themselves are very easy even and uniform. I'm not having any issue getting into the actual stitches. This hook is moving beautifully 
with 100% superwash merino wool yarn. Let's try something a little bit heavier. We're gonna put our four and a half millimeter back in the case and move up to a five and a half millimeter for some worsted weight yarn. This is KNC Element, which I found at Joanne forever ago. It's this nice, mostly cotton with a little bit of acrylic. This is a lightly twisted yarn. So I'm curious to see how this hook deals with this yarn potentially unspooling a little bit. I'll start with a slip knot, and I think this time we'll do some double crochets. First few chains feel good. I always have to get my bearings when working with cotton yarn, but I'm not having any problems so far. I was under the impression that this yarn didn't really like any hook because I tried metal, wood, and plastic when working with it, and it just had so much grip that I couldn't get a comfortable tension. But this is actually not going too bad. My guess is once I get past this starting chain, it's gonna go even easier easier. Kind of a rough start, but you can see that my stitches are very even. I was able to achieve some really good tension with this. Let's move on to this next row and see if it gets any easier. Is it the smoothest hook and yarn combination I've ever worked with? Definitely not. But I can say even as I struggle a little bit with these stitches, I'm not feeling any extra tension in my hands. So my hands and my wrists are still really comfortable and relaxed. All of my fingers know exactly where to go on this hook. And I'm falling into a bit of a rhythm. I could see myself working on a larger project with this yarn and these hooks. It's actually not bad at all. I kind of <laughs> I kind of don't want to stop. Wonderful. Let's take a look at that swatch. Man, that is a gorgeous double crochet swatch. It's nice and clean, even tension. I've got nice smooth lines here along the side. I have to say I am pleasantly surprised at how well these hooks play with this yarn. This was meant to be the real challenge for these hooks and they stood up to it wonderfully. I think I will have to get into the groove of it a little bit. I don't use a ton of cotton, so managing my tension with cotton is always a bit of a challenge, but I would say these hooks made things a lot easier. I've got one more test for these hooks. Let's go to some bulky weight yarn. Now this might be a little bit of a challenge for these hooks. They only go up to a six and a half millimeter and that's meant to be a good fit for bulky weight yarn. I'm actually going to use a little bit of Lion Brand Hue and Me for this, which does recommend a six and a half millimeter crochet hook. So we'll see if this guy is big enough. I'm gonna start off with a slip knot and go back to my single crochet stitches. Just a few for this swatch. Watch. Moment of truth, let's do a few chains. Ah, oh, that's nice. <laughs> That's nice. Ran through those very smoothly. Nice, even tension. Oh, look at that chain. Oh, she's birdie. Okay, we're gonna go in the second chain from the hook, pull up that loop, complete that single crochet. That actually feels wonderful. And I'm not just saying that because Sarah Jane and I are buds, but I just knew when she put out her own line of products that she was going to take her time and make sure she put out something that was not only beautiful, but actually functional. I've never seen a hook handle like this before. And I have to say that every bump and every curve is well placed, at least for my style of crochet. This makes a lot of sense to me. I will say I'm having a little bit of difficulty. This yarn is an acrylic wool blend, mostly acrylic. And and getting that yarn to move down the hook, I do have to give it a little bit more emphasis here. This is perfectly fine. I just have to maneuver my hands slightly differently. Would I have used six and a half millimeter hook for this yarn? Absolutely not. This needs an eight for sure, but I'm getting nice, dense single crochet stitches, really even tension. Look how sharp that line is on the edge. It looks great. And this hook was able to keep up with me through my quick stitching, which is typically how I crochet. The faster, the better. So I'm really pleased with what I was able to achieve here with these hooks. Let's wrap things up with a rundown of some of the features and my overall rating for the Athena crochet hooks. First feature we'll look at for these hooks is the length. So I tried to find a hook that was comparable to the length of these ones. This is the Clover Amour size eight millimeter. I know that the plastic hooks are a little bit longer than the metal hooks in the Clover Amour line. These two hooks are about the same size. I am a big fan of the Clover Amour hooks. They're my favorite hooks of all time. So the fact that these Bella Coco hooks are about the same length encourages me to want to try and use these more in my regular crochet practice. So I'm giving a big thumbs up for the length of these hooks. Next, let's talk about the shape of these actual hooks. When it comes down to it, one of the biggest selling point of these Athena hooks is the shape of the actual handle. There are bumps and grooves along the front, back, and sides of this hooks that help it mold to the shape of your hand. And again, I have quite large hands, so it's nice to know exactly where my thumb's supposed to go and the rest of my fingers wrap right around the handle. This will definitely take some 
getting used to. As you can see, I struggled through some of the stitches and I'm sure that has to do with the fact that I'm not in practice of how to move and maneuver this hook, but I'm sure that will come with time and I can't wait to spend more time with these hooks. So another thumbs up for the shape of the Athena crochet hooks. Next feature we'll review is the hook head. Now the hook head on your crochet hook is almost more important than every other feature. The shape of that hook head, the depth of that hook head, the point on that hook head all have to do with how smooth your crochet experience is going to be. When it comes to the point on these hooks, it's a little bit flat and wide, very similar to tapered crochet hooks. So I was very concerned I was going to have some issue there, but there were none at all with any of the test swatches that I did. I was able to easily get into every single one of my stitches without it slipping out or snagging on the yarn. The hook head has a nice depth as well, so I didn't worry about my yarn slipping out of the hook head. I was able to get pretty consistent and even tension without too many misfires with this hook. Then as far as the hook head shape itself, taking a closer look at it, it's definitely got some features of a hybrid hook, but I would say on the spectrum from inline to tapered, it's probably slightly further on the side of tapered, which is not typically the type of hook that I use. And I think that's also why I was having a little bit of difficulty with some of my swatches. Now let's talk price and value. So this set clocks in at £34.99, which is about $42 US. And when it comes down to it for a set of eight hooks in this beautiful case branded by somebody like Sarah Jane, you are getting major value out of these hooks. If you can catch your rhythm with these hooks, they could easily become the hooks that you reach for again and again. The fact that they're in a nice case, that they're organized by size, and you know exactly what sizes are inside, make these great for travel or using at home. I would have to give this two big old thumbs up for price and for value. Now let's talk about some of the other special features. Now these are things that you don't necessarily need in your crochet hooks, but it's nice that they're here. First is gonna be that gorgeous case. I love anything in the color white or cream when it comes to accessories. So this pretty cream case that is unencumbered by any other decorations or decals, it just speaks to my soul. That small little monogrammed BC, perfection. I also love the use of color in this set, even though there are only a few colors. You've got this beautiful mint on the crochet hooks. You've got that gorgeous kind of corally salmon color for the elastic and then the silver for the hook head itself. Would I have preferred gold? Of course, but the silver totally works here. Thumbs up for special features as well. I think it's pretty darn obvious how much I liked these hooks. That first initial practice gave me a chance to see what I need to adjust in my crochet style to really get in the groove of using these. And I know with some practice, these could become some of the favorites in my collection. They're pretty different from anything that I have since I typically go for hybrid or inline hooks. So trying something on the tapered side, it's gonna give me a chance to stretch my skills and I'll never have to feel like there's a certain crochet hook that I can't use. Now I have linked this crochet hook set down in the description. These are not sold individually, so you do have to get the set. I would recommend if you're interested in one, go ahead and get it now because these are bound to sell out again. So I'm curious, have you tried these hooks? If you have, drop down in the comments and let me know how you like them. And if you haven't tried them, let me know if they are something that you would try. Now if you enjoyed Enjoyed this video or you learned something please consider hitting that thumbs up and subscribing to my channel and then make sure you check out these other yarny reviews if there are certain crochet products out there that you'd like me to try let me know down in the comments I am always open to suggestions thank you so much for watching I love y'all and I'll see y'all next time bye <laughs>